Hey YouTube, Fred here. And today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at how to get Froyo, the lead version, onto your Samsung Captivate. Now it's a pretty simple process. You're gonna need the Samsung drivers, of course, and this is using Windows. I don't know how to, how it works for Mac, I don't have one. But you're gonna need the Windows drivers for your Samsung Captivate, and you're gonna need the Odin flasher file, which is the way the Froyo is actually put on the phone. So once you get everything downloaded, you're going to want to take your phone and you're going to have to turn it off and then you plug it in to the computer. Well, actually first you're going to want to open up the Odin Flasher and run it as administrator. You're going to open it up and then once you plug in your phone, you're going to get a yellow little pop-up and it's going to say calm and whatever number you get. I have five. I've seen four and six. So there's no specific number that should pop up, but that should pop up. You should be able to see the yellow. But once you do that, the next thing you're going to have to do is put the phone in download mode. Now, the way um, it should work is you supposedly hold down the volume button along with the power button and you hold down both volume buttons up and down and supposedly it'll put your phone into download mode and I'm going to put you a quick picture of what you should see to know that your phone is in download mode I'm going to put it right here so if you see that picture then you can just go ahead and click the start button right here at the bottom of Odin of the Odin flasher you can go ahead and click the start button and your phone will be upgraded to Froyo. Now before you click that start button I would recommend that you go ahead and back up any of your contacts, back up um, any apps you may want to have on the phone once you are updated to Froyo because they most likely will get erased. Um, that happened to me and I just thought I would put that in as, as a disclaimer. <clears throat> but um, if you're having a problem getting your phone into download mode using the normal method of holding down both volume buttons along with the power button which is the problem I've had then if you downloaded the Android SDK it's another way that you can get the phone put into download mode and it's a surefire way to get it going without having to try it over and over again because I was getting a bit frustrated when I tried it so what you're going to want to do is open up the command prompt window search for CMD in the windows menu and then hit run as administrator now what you're going to want to do is navigate to wherever you have your um, Android SDK located. Now once you downloaded the Android SDK, you're going to want to go ahead and unzip it. And I recommend unzipping it to the SD, not to the SDK, unzipping it to the desktop because I'm going to put a string of command below that you can just copy and paste into the command prompt window. And it'll get you straight to the folder that you need to get to. But if you don't have it in your desktop, then you're going to have to change a couple things in it. But it's still not that hard. So what you're going to want to do is uh, type in and navigate to wherever you have the folder. I have it on the desktop. Android-STK-Windows. And you're going to navigate to the Tools folder. Now once you're in the tools folder, I guess I can zoom in a bit on that. Now, once you're in the tools folder, obviously it doesn't look like much, but you have this arrow pointing to the right. Now what you're going to want to do to get your phone into um, download mode is you're going to type in ADB space reboot space download. And what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and put your phone in download mode. And then you can go ahead and go to the Odin flasher and click start. And it'll go ahead and put your phone, put Froyo on your phone like I said. Now, as I said before, you might, you should go ahead and back up your contacts and any apps that you need. Because it will most likely erase them. I'm going to hit enter just because you can see what can happen. But it says device not found because mine's not plugged in. So that's about it. Um, after you have your phone updated to Froyo, you can go ahead and start getting the things back on that you need. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I am on Froyo. I'm going to go into my settings here just so you know that I'm not making some BS video. 
go into about phone you can see all the icons are different now and firmware version froyo i mean 2.2 and build number froyo ucj6 which is the leaked model of froyo for the samsung Captivate. so that's about it my next video which should be up soon as well will be about rooting the phone on froyo have a nice day